Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your November 2020 general love reading. This is your girl mermaid scales tarot. Sagittarius, the energy right now is extremely intense. I know I'm feeling it. I mean, the blue moon in Taurus is coming up, which is already affecting me, on top of Mercury retrograde and all the other planets in retrograde. My goodness, guys, I know the energies are heavy. For anyone that's going through transitions, transformations, karmic healing, my love and light is with you. So this is a general love reading for the sun, moon, rising, Venus, and or any other strong placement in the sign of Sagittarius. This will not resonate with every Sagittarius that watches this video. Messages are said for those who need to hear them the most. If this message is not for you, Sagittarius, I suggest checking out your other signs in different placements. Also, not every message in this reading may be for you. Please only take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't for someone who needs to hear that message. Hi, cross watchers. You're very welcome here if you're interested in a Sagittarius. Who wouldn't be? I want to remind Sagittarians and cross watchers that energy is fluid. So if you feel like I'm describing a certain situation where the roles and energies are reversed, you're more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles. Finally, before we get into the reading, I just want to announce that I've reached 200,000 subscribers and I can barely believe it. It's all because of you guys. Thank you so much for all your love and support of myself and the channel and I want to give back to you guys. So I'm giving away tarot decks, crystal sets, candles, all that good stuff. If you're interested in entering the giveaway, just open up the description box and you'll find the link in the rules of entry there. Alright Sagittarius, let's get started. Okay, Sagittarius, um, a couple things I got for tuning into the energies, and this could just be a few messages for a few of you, it doesn't have to be for everyone, but what I first saw was an airplane. So I don't know if you guys live at a distance from each other, like literally a flight away. Maybe you haven't seen each other in a while because of the COVID-19 outbreak, but I feel as if someone really wants to come see you. And if you don't live that far, I, I feel that someone has something to say and they want to say it face to face. It feels warm. It feels exciting. It doesn't feel anything heavy at all. Um, and then I felt like this warm energy, like hold my left hand. Um, I don't know if you guys hold hands quite frequently. Someone's hands are very warm. Um, but there's this like loving energy for you, Sagittarius. I really do feel someone has feelings for you that are genuine and authentic and caring. So and maybe someone could have like a tattoo or like wear a bracelet on their left wrist or something like that. Just small messages, doesn't have to be for everyone. And we're gonna go ahead and see what the cards have to say. But it was really sweet. I feel a sweet energy, but that could just be a small message. So, what are the messages for Sagittarius? Oh, 10 of Cups. All right, let's get this going. Pisces energy. You could have Pisces in your chart, you could be dealing with a Pisces. Oh my god. Okay, let's keep going, Sagittarius. Wow. Sagittarius, if you're single right now, you're not going to be single for long. Someone feels that you're their ten of cups. Someone wants to be in a commitment with you. They desire you. You check off every mark on their list. You're sexy. You're intelligent. You're loving. You're caring. You're mysterious. You're independent. And this person just sees you as everything they've ever wanted in someone. And I feel as if you guys definitely have known each other for a bit. I'm hearing five months. I don't know. Um, 
if that will resonate with you guys in some way, but you could also be dealing with a Taurus as um, May is the fifth month or Gemini perhaps. But Sagittarius, this person's feeling you all the way. Maybe you guys are already in a committed relationship, but if you're not, you're, you're not gonna be single for long. Yeah, bottom of the deck, king of pentacles, Taurus energy, heavy Taurus energy. So if you have Taurus in your chart, I suggest checking out the Taurus video to see if there's messages for you, that, for you there or if you're dealing with the Taurus, but commitment, success. Someone sees you as someone that they can build something strong with, have a strong foundation with, prosperity with, abundance with. The king of pentacles does not fool around. This person's all about their business too. This could be someone that has a bit of money. Um, they may be very successful in their own careers. Uh, they are definitely someone who's very careful in choosing who they invest with as far as love goes. This person is serious. They're not fooling around and they're looking for someone who can match that energy, who is in the same alignment, who has the same thoughts and ideas. Um, with the King of Pentacles here, you could even work with this person. Or it's like I'm kind of feeling this energy that um, you guys met because of a hobby you both are interested in. Um, whether that's something artistic or something within the corporate world. Um, maybe you've worked on similar projects with each other and that's how you met. But man, Sagittarius, they think you're their one. And they're ready to commit to you all the way. And maybe that's what I was seeing in my mind's eye, that airplane or just that feeling of wanting to say something to you. I feel there's a question they're going to ask that they've been waiting for the perfect time for. Um, just kind of clearing things out, observing to see if you really are the person for them. And every time they talk to you, every time they hang out with you, every time they're with you, it's just more and more assurance for them that you are really someone that they want to have in their life. This is absolutely beautiful, especially with all the heavy energies that are going. So for who this, who this is for, this is absolutely exciting. So let's get into the reading. At the center of it all, we have the Ten of Cups, Pisces energy. Man, Sagittarius, you make them happy. You make them fulfilled. You make them feel as if there's no one else in this world that they want but you. They've envisioned marrying you. They've envisioned having children with you, having a family with you, living with you, growing old with you. Like, this is the notebook type of stuff, okay? Um, don't know if the notebook will resonate with you in any way, but Sagittarius, you have a lot to offer here. And they see that. They see that you are someone that can give the Ten of Cups. This is something they would not even think of walking away from. Someone really likes to accessorize, like always go out. When they like go out of the house, they always have necklaces, bracelets, anklets, or watches, whether that's you or the other person. Someone really likes to dress to the nines here. Um, and it's, but you know, it's far more than like superficial. There's just this loving energy between the two of you that feels like home. I don't know, Sagittarius. I almost feel that when you guys met, um, there was just some sort of familiarity that you felt within one another. And it was just this instant attraction, this instant chemistry. But it, it was not even just a sexual type of thing. I mean, of course, they're sexually attracted to you, but it's as if they really feel like this can be their happily ever after with you. Someone could have a very nice home, um, very nice decor in their house, like expensive vases, um, even like very nice art in their house as well. I feel like there's a very nice painting over someone's bed. Um, but my goodness, Sagittarius, this is, you found your one. I feel as if a lot of you have found a soulmate here that is willing to give their heart, that is willing to work on this, that is willing to do anything that will make you happy. What's crossing this is the Ace of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn Energy. The start of something beautiful. I mean, they just envision this, right? Being with you, having you be their man or their woman, going on dates with you, catering to you, loving you, holding you. They love 
either you hold them Sagittarius when you guys cuddle in bed or they hold you and they just love having you in their arms or you being in their arms. And there's no other place they would want to be. And when you guys have to leave each other, again, especially if you guys live at a long distance, it's just so hard to leave. Almost as if I'm like seeing this um, vision of like when they're about, you, you're about to leave, they're about to leave. It's like you guys have a long hug at the door before you fully make it out. But they're, they've been thinking about starting this with you, Sagittarius. And again, some of you are already in a committed relationship. Maybe they're even thinking about proposing to you. I'm hearing November 1st or November 11th. Those may be important dates to you for some. But my goodness, Sagittarius, it's just been a matter of time of when I should ask this question when I should, you know, really propose this and move this forward. I almost feel like they have a surprise waiting for you, Sagittarius. A gift or just, yeah, just asking if you're ready and if you would want to be with them and what the next steps are in moving forward in this. What's crowning this Two of Wands energy, Aries energy? I mean, from the moment they met you. They felt this desire. They felt this passion for you. Sagittarius, you could have been the one that first was to make the moves. Um, definitely made your interest known. And that person found it very, very sexy for those of you who initiated the conversation or was the first to flirt. And I'm feeling like a hand on a knee there. I don't know if they did that to you or you did that with them. And there's a restaurant you guys like to go to quite frequently. And I don't know, maybe it's been closed since COVID-19, but they want to like pick up food for you from that restaurant and take you, or I don't know, something about this restaurant that keeps ringing. Maybe they own a restaurant or someone's in the restaurant business, perhaps. But they feel this connection intensely. And they have plans. They want to move forward with this. They want to move forward with you. They feel that you feel the same way. They don't, I don't feel like there's any doubt here about how you guys feel. It's just when is the next steps going to be taken? When can we move this forward? They're eager and ready, Sagittarius. And someone's cooking is bomb, especially if someone's in that, like, as a chef or is in the restaurant business. What's rooting this is the High Priestess, Pisces energy, Cancer energy for me as a reader. Um, yeah, so again, Sagittarius, I feel as if they still, the, again, the King of Pentacles is a very careful person. They don't just make this offer to anyone. So I feel for a bit, this is everything you're not fully seeing yet. There's still some things that are being felt out. There's still some things that is not apparent in the 3D, right? In the tangible form, but there's just a gut feeling that you know something's gonna happen from this. Something is going to come out of this. This isn't, I don't feel like anyone feels like this is gonna be a failure or there's a chance of failure with this. There's a deep, deep knowing between the two of you. And again, with the high priestess, there's like some sort of like telepathic psychic connection between the two of you. It's almost as if you think about this person and that's when they text you or you keep on seeing this person's name or, you know, I don't know. There's just some sort of feeling like you, you know, when this person's going to hit you back or, you know, this person's next move. Others of you are spiritual people yourselves. Um, you could be tarot readers. You could be Reiki healers. You could be psychics, mediums. Um, and they find that very sexy. It's something very new to them. Maybe you kind of introduce them to the side of spirituality. Um, but there's something mysteriously sexy about you, Sagittarius. And again, like the King of Pentacles over here, I'm sorry to keep on drawing to him, but it's just something Spirit's telling me to do, um, is all about like knowing what they sense, right? What they see, touch, smell, feel, whatever. And... But with you, it's just like this bond that is beyond the five senses. 
And that's what kind of interests them. That's what intrigues them. Someone could even practice magic as well in this, um, in this connection here. I just heard love spell. I don't know if that's someone sent, you know, the bottle from Victoria's Secret, or it's just like they are completely encaptured by you, Sagittarius. There's just something so unique, and, but so mysterious and alluring about you that they can never fully walk away from this. I don't think they've ever tried. Um, but yeah, Sagittarius, I don't know, There's, it's unexplainable. I kind of want to clarify this high priestess. I'm also seeing two S's. There could be two S's in someone's name, first, middle, last, initial. Um, maybe a confirmation for someone. Why is the high priestess here and what's reading in all this? The tower. Aries energy, Scorpio energy with the world. Um, what I'm getting this, Sagittarius, you blew their mind. Um, you make them climax like no one else can. Like I'm hearing shouting. They're very loud in bed with you, but they can't help it. <laughs> or maybe it's you, Sagittarius. Um, but it's really like you completely rocked their world. They weren't prepared for this intensity, but they don't mind it. You know, it's not like they're scared, they're shook. With the world card, it's all good. Fixed energy, Aquarius, Taurus, um, Scorpio, and Leo energy. I feel it's like when they met you, they weren't even really looking for love. You know, they weren't looking to be with someone. Maybe they were really um, financially focused. And then here you come and it completely changed their plans, you know? Now it's like reprioritizing for my career to how I can get this with Sagittarius. And again, some of you could come from different cultures, different backgrounds, different ethnicities with the world card. And again, some of you are at a distance from each other. In the recent past, the Hierophant Taurus energy, but for me as a reader, I also feel Capricorn energy with this card. They've made up their minds what they want with this from you, Sagittarius, commitment, devotion. I mean, there could be people that have been throwing themselves at them because they could be very attractive. There's like a mature attractiveness about them. Like, I don't know if there is like some sort of age difference, but more so I feel like this person is just very business oriented. They know what they want. They're not fooling around. They're not immature. They're not players. They're very goal oriented. And it's just some sort of energy that they give off and very intelligent too. Um, so people, I feel like, throw themselves at them hoping that they can get their attention, hoping that they can get a chance. But see how this Hierophant is looking straight at you? They don't even care if someone's even like throwing their panties at them. It's whatever. I, I want Sagittarius. Someone could be a teacher a mentor, a boss as well. But this is what they want. They want commitment. Some of you guys, they even want marriage. What you need to know about this Sagittarius, Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy, they're ready to make you all theirs. They want this. They don't see anyone else but you. And Sagittarius, I feel as if you've been very patient about the situation. You're feeling a strong chemistry as well, a strong love for each other as well. But, you know, you've also been working on yourself in some way, whether that's healing yourself or your own finances, your own career, you're independent. Some of you live alone, I'm hearing as well, um, and you're fine with it. And yeah, this has been really great. And it would be nice to see this person come forward and make a commitment. I feel a lot of you have been hoping for that. But in the meantime, you'll do you. I, it's like I'm hearing you're not desperate for anyone's attention, you know, and that's part of the reason why they just feel so attracted to you. You have a boss mentality just like they have a boss mentality. And they want you all to them. 
For the likely outcome of this situation, Sagittarius, we're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading. If you'd like to join me there, just open up the description box and you'll find the link to Vimeo. But before we go, I will pull a card from the Romance Angels deck. I'm going to ask Spirit, is there anything we need to know about this connection? Anything further that can clarify how this person feels for Sagittarius? So, it's, it's so weird. I usually never let, like, read these upside down, but it's telling me to do so. And that's why I was kind of like, uh, uh, okay, let go of control of issues is in reverse. So, yeah, again, I think someone hasn't been so up someone's ass about taking things to the next level, really being nosy about someone's schedule, um, you know, really been trying to figure out what the other person's up to. You guys just kind of naturally flow together. You, there's something about you guys that just kind of clicks. And because there's not any pressure, there's not any intensity between the two of you, it's really letting things flow in. You guys both understand, or at least you, Sagittarius, understand the idea of divine timing. That is what is meant to be mine will not be withheld from me, will not be taken from me. So I'm not going to, you know, sit and stress and worry about it. But whatever happens, happens. I feel like this person's significant in my life. That's all I need to feel. That's all that matters. And until something is elsewise, then I'll act on that, right? And that's where I really feel about this. But with this deception card in the background, um, what I'm feeling from this, a couple things for different groups of you. This is in the background, so I don't feel it's present at all. Some of you, I gotta say that like in the past, maybe you did deal with like really sketchy player, playette, untruthful people that's not the situation right now that's not the situation right now at all um but also i feel with this deception card with someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship it's kind of going with this high priestess energy that it wasn't fully revealed yet of what their next steps are they've been thinking about this they've been knowing that there's something there a chemistry there and it's still, you know, being masked in some way, but it will all, I truly feel, reveal itself to you soon, Sagittarius. So there's nothing to worry about as far as this goes. That's how I feel. But to get the likely outcome of this, we're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading. Again, if you'd like to join me there, just open up the description box and you'll find the link that will take you to Vimeo. If this is where we depart, Sagittarius, I really hope that this resonated with you in some way, that you gain clarity and insight in regards to what's going on in your love life. If you did, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Sagittarius, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Sagittarius.